The Hateful Eight short movie review. Eight dangerous strangers have to share a couple of nights together at a co yeah, at a at a stopover station during a blizzard in Wisconsin, I believe, sometime after the Civil War ended, and where the 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 two bounty hunters are unsure of the about the other people there, and given that one of the two bounty hunters, Kurt Russell's John Ruth, has a female prisoner who he intends will hang. Yeah, he has he he has some paranoia as other Kurt Russells in you know snowy deserted places have had about you know the the other men in this you know claustrophobic isolated and dangerous area and yeah the the movie plays as a mur murder mystery with basically someone might be trying to you know to free Daisy Domergu, the female prisoner, and yeah, the 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 audience and some of the other characters may try to figure out who before it's too late. And this, you know, the 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 cast is great, and all of these fantastic actors and Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum does actually a pretty good job here. The, you know, leave it to Tarantino. And yeah, a, a lot of fun is had with these characters. Bruce Dern is this, you know, a little weird and just standoffish old man. This, this Confederate general that's really angry that he lost. And, you know, he has to be faced with Samuel Jackson, who was a major on the other side and free slave, you know, freed slave, you know, or, yeah, would have been a slaver, yeah. And just these, you know, especially fun is Jennifer Jason Lee as the prisoner who has no reason to behave. She has just a few more days to live before she's going to hang. And nothing she says to anybody but John Ruth matters. Because what are they going to do? You know, attack her with John Ruth right there? John Ruth wants her to hang. So no matter what. And at the same time, sometimes she goes too far and he gets mad at her. And yeah. And it's... Some will find it too long, and it definitely could have been cut down some. It's it's not as good as the last two movies by Tarantino, and it's... You, you have to go into it just... You know, yes, it's Tarantino, but it's just... It's enjoyable, but it's not like redefining. It's not the new Pulp Fiction. And the... the... the, the themes are quite interesting and the, the mood is quite nicely done and it is mostly a film of gradual build-up and that both means that people who really don't want to sit through a lot of build-up are going to be put off, and when the build-up comes to a climax, it's just, it's not as good as, you know, it, it can never quite live up to, when you have a lot of really effective build-up, it's really difficult to, you know, deliver on it, and though the movie tries, yeah, it, it can't. 
If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.